It is the story that will not go away. J.B. Gerald and Mike Loxley, their fate meeting of uh, altercation is driving everyone nuts because there's just something that keeps coming out. Uh, my whole thing, I think that if they, everybody had just told the truth right out the beginning. I mean, everything. Put everything on the table because it's a public story. So just let's, let's finish it now. We'd be over it. It'd be all done. The team is not doing well. The team wouldn't have this to deal with. Now we're on national news, ESPN, showing this whole thing. Uh, there's uh, contradictions left and right. There's a million lies out there circulating. So, I mean, now it's just a, it's a mess. And this is like a hornet's nest that the Lobos, are, the program, how do they recover from this? I mean, how long is this going to take? Is this going to take a few years? If I'm if I'm a new guy, if I'm a freshman, I'm thinking like this might take my whole career to write this and to get over this thing. How long is this thing? Gonna, so I might be looking at going somewhere else if I had the opportunity. I mean, I know it's got to hurt. It has to because this is a this is a situation that could have been handled with just telling the truth. That's all. You tell the truth one time. When you lie, as we're seeing, you got to tell a bunch of those. Oh yeah, and. The, the problem, you make a good point with recruiting because this, I, I, you can, there's a legitimate view that you can recruit to an 0-12 team because you can get superstar players who want to say, you know, I want to be on the field for four years, I want to get as much tape to the league as possible so I can get to the next level. It's hard to make an argument that says your coach is splattered all over the TV. I mean, he has to go into to people's households and say, I'm going to take care of your child hundreds of miles away from home. I'm going to be that fatherly figure. I'm going to be your guys' family. And it, this is, it's just so hard to recover from. And it's, and it's, you're talking about all these lies that come out. I, I'm wondering, is the Loch Ness Monster, was he in the office at the time? Because everything that keeps coming out and coming out just keeps to extend further and further and further. And it's, it's just, it's disappointing if you're a Lobo fan or anyone around the Lobo community, because not only is this a bad team right now, but your pride is shocked. I mean, yeah. we've never, I mean, even even the NCAA violations with Rocky Long, that was like a little isolated incident that off to the side that was never, that didn't really expand didn't even, to the whole yeah, program. Didn't even do anything. This, this is like an all-encompassing program. You know why people know the Lobos nationally? Because of this mess. And you got to wonder, is this five or six years away from repairing this football program, just right. repairing the images? He could win nine games next year, and people are still going to, the naysayers, you know, you know some Albuquerque fans are going to still be, he was the guy who got us on ESPN for punching himself. I mean, right, but if he won nine games or, or any nine or above the next year, I think uh, things would change, you know, as, as far as, uh, I think if he, if he won nine games, I think people, people forget when you win. Mm -hmm. So he would help himself out a lot if he won some games. But, but that's besides the point now because now this, this uh, report on ESPN is outside the line saying that he had a past history of uh, allegedly getting into it with these coaches. That, that really hurt. That part really hurt because then you started thinking about, gosh, man, do, do we see a pattern here? And, um, and that's what everybody's looking at now. And, and uh, if they, like I said, if they had just told the truth from the beginning, then that doesn't even come out mm -hmm. because – Everything was already thrown out there, and this thing maybe doesn't grow as big as it did. But since the pattern of lying was established, there's fruit from that. And that fruit is more lies and more deception and, and more uh, uh, confusion and strife. And so that's what happens. You tell the truth, there's fruit from that. Good fruit. Story's out, it's over. You know, this is probably, this is probably the worst thing to hit Lobo Athletics since Lobo Gate. And Norm Ellenberger back in way back when, well before I was even here. And just the, the thing that really bugs me the most about all this, there's so much spin doctoring going on. Why can't you just tell the truth one time, get it over with, get it out of the way so people can move on? That is half the problem with this. This is probably worse than NCAA violations or probably most any NCAA violation you can come up with out there because this is dragged on so many uh, this is just dragged on and on and on and it's like okay what 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 revelations coming up next just when we get over that one yeah. here comes something else i mean 
somebody obviously is not telling the truth here and being held accountable. And in the end, there's going to be some people getting hurt out of all this. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. It's well, like the, the Jolly Green Giant took a dump, and there's a, there's a spill in aisle seven. Oh, no. That was <laughs> and just, the mop is, is not working. I, I, I can't believe that I'm on camera for that reaction of what you just said. No, no. But, Take a deep sniff. That's I'm, the stink of lies. I'm a senior at UNM this year, too, so this is my senior reporting season going out like this. But you, you said it's, uh, it's worse since. I think it is a worse incident just because of the way times have changed. This is now we live in this 24-hour news exactly. cycle. Exactly. And when you lie, like Van said, like you said, you encourage all of all of these haters and naysayers yeah. out there to come up with their own rumors. Yeah. And the, and people don't always vet the content that's coming no. into them. No, not and at all. all these rumors become semi credible to people. And yeah. and it doesn't matter. I mean, the blogs and all the message boards where they're saying these poisonous stuff, you have no credibility anymore because of because of the fact that you've withheld stuff. And if they would have tell, told what we saw today from day one I think there would have been a lot more people calling for his job right away. I well, think that's why they didn't do it. I'm, well, sure, I'm sure there were, but, you know. But one, one, one of the things that was, was bad was when we asked for any kind of records that were taken concerning this investigation, HR, after they decided they were going to look into it. And they said, there's nothing. There's nothing. They, UNM told us there's nothing. ESPN comes on with these documents. All of a sudden, we call UNM like, "Hey, what's up? This is public information. What, what's going on?" Then, oh, we get a fax. We get all the stuff. Oh, we get the paperwork now. You know, so that looks really bad. Who who made that decision, and why did that happen? When you 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 know you, the big time network calls you ESPN, and you guys are just handing them paperwork. That's going to get out. We're going to see that, and we're going to remember that you guys lied to us. So we're not going to be quiet about that. We did a story on it because it's, it's, that should not happen. I mean, we, we're doing our job just like they're doing their job. And another, and another thing, you get thousands and th you get, well, maybe not thousands, okay? You get a lot of requests for information under the Public Information Act, the Freedom of Information Act, and you get all these different requests uh, out there. You make you mess up one time and you call it just a little mistake. I mean, no, they, some, don't, they some, said it was it, a big mistake. It, it, is a, it is a big it is a big mistake, and and, and, and somebody's got to be held accountable for that just as well. I mean, because it, it makes you wonder what are you hiding? What, what are you trying to cover up? You know that it, gosh, it's so frustrating because just tell the truth. That's it, and we're done. Everybody's done. We don't like this story. No, none of us like it. We don't like this. You know. I, I kind of, you know, I've, I've sat down with Mike Loxley. I like Mike Loxley just sitting down talking to him. He seemed like a cool guy. You know, I haven't been around him when he's having these altercations or anything like that. He's just been nice to me. So I don't know that side of him. But it's obviously there's something out there or nobody, you know, who's to benefit from everybody saying the same thing that, yeah, this guy did this to me. You know, so obviously there's something there. But just get it out there as we're going to do. We're going to get out of here. Yeah. All right. I was just going to say one more thing, and I'm going to leave it at that. And it sounds to me like some, there's some serious problems at UNM right now, maybe with Krebs, with trying to come clean on, 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 what, on what exactly has happened and, and, and getting behind the story and getting it done, getting it out of the way. And as for Mike Loxley, this sounds like a man who seriously needs some help with the uh, anger management issues. And, and, and I think ultimately, let's hope he gets the help that he really, really needs. It sounds like he needs it. Well, and, and the, just the one more thing. I got to say is that 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 report was not not all correct. There were some egregious oh, yeah. errors there, there in were ESPN's some ESPN's report. Yeah. So let's about the wait. money, about the salary. Yeah. Let, let's wait at least a week before we condemn everybody involved. There, there's been some. No, mistakes. no, no. My whole thing. But let's, the thing let's that wait I've for been, the truth. Well, the thing that I've been hammering on was the lies that they told to us. Oh yeah, that that's unacceptable. Yeah. That's unacceptable. But ESPN wasn't. They got they got up their hands on some documents, but they also botched some some easy facts. So yeah. well, let's let's see what happens. And I'm it's it just it's terrible at UNM right now. It's I mean hopefully Rock, hopefully Rocky Long doesn't make them wish that they retained him next tomorrow. So Lobos of San Diego State tomorrow. Uh oh.